Welcome to Instant Replay Live. We're about to f take on the Lord of Mordor in Shadow of Mordor. Yeah, but we've got a few things to explain first. So we're actually going into the final mission of the game, skipping over those who saw previous episodes where we were collecting all of the um, all the different war chiefs in our service. We were branding them because we actually lost all of the rest of those episodes plus the finale. We've played through all of this before and distressingly have to replay through it all now um, because of an issue with our video recorder. So Nick, how's your second playthrough been? Actually amazing. <laughs> I was really upset. Like, we've gone through uh, off camera I in between the last session, which was a week ago, and today, and re... Record, I, I'm sorry, I've replayed personally the entire game over, except for the side missions. And I thought that was going to take me weeks. I thought I was going to be, like, not into it, and I was going to have to um, just, you know, catch back up to this point. Turns out this game's really fun. Yeah, it really is. Like, even on a second playthrough, I rushed it all in basically one sitting. It was actually two, but I got all the way to where I was almost able to get to this mission on one sitting. And uh, then I just finished it up the next day, and, and here we are, ready to record again. So I mean, I got to the end of the game, and then I stopped, and I spent months killing orcs and not beating yeah, the game. Yeah, yeah. So like, it totally makes sense. Like, this is just a game that has a pretty replay short... value, but, but really, it's not even about the replay value. It's about the fact that the, the basic combat is so goddamn fun. So can we talk about how awesome it is that I have a ship of orcs <laughs> that are in my service? Like, it's pretty great. Yeah. Did you name them? Uh, no, they have names. What? <laughs> they That's have names crazy. already. Um, but yeah, all of these branded works now just work for me. And mm -hmm. uh, this is going to be disappointing. Uthug Fastfeet is someone who the has never been He's on not the Norsko. show. Yeah. <laughs> when we first played this, Norsko, who killed me over and over again and also ran away from the fights, which is really the, like, the damning part of that uh, mm -hmm. playthrough. He was my nemesis and the one that we have to fight in this scene. Now it's this guy who only killed me like twice and is just not even meaningful to me, but especially not meaningful to the audience. So we're going to slaughter him. But that is a super cool feature of the game. Yeah. Like having a nemesis show up in the final mission is pretty amazing. So yeah, we're going to take my army of five guys versus his army of lots more. I also, dis disappointingly, in the previous episodes, you saw that I had every upgrade. Uh, did we? Did we? Get, did we lose those? I thought we lost all those. Yeah. No. No. Um, every upgrade, like all the swords and stuff, all of that was was captured. Okay. 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 Um, but now I don't have those upgrades for the final battle because I didn't replay all the side missions. That would have been a lot. That would have taken weeks, probably. Yeah. Well, maybe not, but depends. So I just, I focused on what I could accomplish in a reasonable amount of time. Plus it'll be interesting to sort of compare, I guess, like mm -hmm. how much more difficult is it without having all the upgrades. I Not. doubt, yeah, I doubt it will be noticeable. Oh, I, I don't think they actually cause any damage changes or anything. Well, all, some of my upgrades did. Um, I don't have full runes, I don't have full... Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, like I'm missing a lot of upgrades. I only did a few side quests. Um... But it, I don't know. I guess it's like I'm I'm already in danger here. I mean, I I think there's a point in games for me where I like the, my favorite part of a game that, that has a rising power level is the middle, where yes. it's not easy because it has to be, and you're go, you're growing in power and you can feel yourself growing in power, but you're still being challenged. And a lot of those games end with you just being too powerful. Yeah. Um. So the end gets a little bit boring in a way, but the middle part is the best because. Your character is improving a lot. You 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 are watching your character improve and still taking on challenges that are like making your improvements have merit. Look at this where we have to reintroduce to the like, guy. Yeah, he clearly is who spoke at the front end of the battle. Did they have to show him again just because Always. the first time I, I wish every swords? time you attacked the orcs, they would talk to you. Every orc. <laughs> yes, every orc. That'd be great. But I'm even the same orcs. They just introduce themselves over and over again. Uh, oh man. Oh man. Oh. Right in his orc chest. Good job. Thanks. <laughs> I do have, however, the um, rune equipped that lets me use the crazy, like, kill everybody power. 30 the oh, oh, the 20 seconds of executions. Yeah. And, and 
the the the, the one storm so, of our failed. Yeah. So even though we we lost that actual ability, I just equipped a rune that like, kind of cheat lets me do it. <laughs> so. Seems good. Seems good. Yeah. Although I have to build it up, and I specifically built it up before recording, and for some reason it's not on there. I don't know why it's down. I mean, maybe you're just a liar. Uh, sure, maybe. Bastard. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, um, dude. There are some amazing cutscenes in this finale, too. Yeah. And it's so sad that we're not going to be able to react to them naturally the way that we did then. Like, oh, look. <laughs> Instead, let's talk about people who don't react to things like that and how, how I hate well, them. <laughs> that's typically me. <laughs> like... Well, no, I mean, like, when a story is good, right? Like, and it's like, all right, let me look at over and see what, you know, what this person's face is. How are, like, how, how are wrapped up are they in this? And uh -oh. they're just, like, texting, and I'm like, son of a bitch. Yeah, you've talked about that You're before. dead to me. Yeah, watching movies it's, and stuff. It's but I feel like that's me, like, when I'm not on on the show. Oh, and I do react God. less in general. You, you know, I'm just kind of able to take things in and let them internalize rather than having to express any kind of interest. Mm. And that's a weird difference. I find that I feel more expressive when I'm experiencing a story than when I'm experiencing life. Hmm. <laughs> like, if I'm reading yeah. a book or if I'm watching a movie or playing a game, and it's just like... I, I tend to, I think, get more impact out of those those things, which makes sense, you know, when they're, like, heightened or whatever, and it's like, oh, my God, is everybody going to die? That's yeah. like, you don't get that in real life. But uh, I, I, I think I tend to be much more, um, I guess withdrawn when I'm just interacting with people on a regular basis. Yeah, I, I definitely am. And it also depends on who those people are, like my coworkers versus mm -hmm. friends. Oh, yeah, like yeah. my coworkers want to talk to me, but they want to talk about sports, you know? And like <laughs> so I just end up being like a complete asshole and saying like, uh huh. Yeah. I actually, yep. uh, man, I, I went to a Zero bar the other day. A, well, a bar. I went to a Buffalo Wild Wings oh, and yeah? I sat at the bar because I was going to grab a quick bite to eat. Sure. Um, uh, and this dude next to me started talking to me. He was like, oh, great. Here we go. The sports conversation <laughs> at the bar because there's like six TV screens of sports. And he ends up talking to me about Henry VIII. Whoa. And I was like, holy shit. That's this is pretty the best sweet. bar experience. Ever. And he was like, I don't know if he was like a history major or just a history buff or yeah, whatever. Yeah. But he was like going into detail with each of the wives and why they were each individually executed. And I was like, so random. this is the best bar. Like, uh, it was great. It was great. Uh, so when are you hanging out with him again? Um, well, we're going to meet every Friday before Magic. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I imagine I can probably find him again, though. Yeah, so right next can, to the, to the yeah. Dragon's Den where I played Friday. Yeah. But, um, that is a great like placement for a Oh, my God. Buffalo the flag on his back is a face. I didn't see it's it. It's a it's a skin it's a it's a skin flag. A skin flag. I'm not joking. Like it was like eye sockets, nostrils, and a mouth, and it was like flattened out like a flag. Oh, I hope we can see it again. Uh, well, I'll sneak up on him here in a second if I can figure out how can to get guess? up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, there we go. Shadow of Mordor. Oh, I thought I had to go up. I, Give me I didn't a kiss. I was supposed to go through here. Why didn't you die? Boy, I had a hard, easier time figuring this out <laughs> when we played it originally. Please die this time. Um, oh, he sees me. <laughs> Never mind me. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, wow, Continue. that was that was a hell of a point. There's a flag. Look right there. On the, on the left, you can see a dangling. Oh, oh, okay. Up close, you can Are tell you it's a face sure? more. Oh, okay, okay. All right, because um, I was like, from that angle, it could have just been tatters, you know? I mean, it's definitely like a low res. It's not like the thing there. It's a, it's a small detail, but it definitely has the holes of so face. So why the are there multiple tower guys his name is the tower i think um well so there is one the tower and his this is his magic he's uh he's he's his magic is that he can split himself not split himself but i think some of these are like false but maybe. there's there's two of them are they really faces or do they just kind of look like faces maybe oh they do have noses yeah all right still drain oh nice how did he turn around <laughs> yeah i'll have to go through frame by frame on that after stealth drain him <laughs> that's, that's super convenient. I did go through though and replaying the game. Look at the face. Oh man, you missed it. No. Um, and check. I, I saw. I, I get it now. It's a face. It's a face. It's got a nose. Can we talk more about it. <laughs> um, in replaying the game, I definitely saw who killed your wife and kid, mm -hmm. and the tower and the what do they call the other guy? He's not the hand. He's. Gosh, I can't even remember. Whatever the other guy's the name is. The first guy you fight. Yeah, the one that we thought... Well, you thought he didn't kill him, and then I thought he did. 
it, it wasn't. It was the Black Hand, who we're going to be fighting, is the one who actually killed him. Or killed, killed uh, them, the wife and child. But um, these guys just held the wife and child down for the kill. Yeah. Can I... Uh, do I have to go over there? And speaking of wife and child getting murdered, I really want to... <laughs> That's uh, a good segue for anything. ...finish Mad Max as a series. Oh, yeah. Because um, I love Mad Max 1 and 2. I there, there's, Those are amazing games. 3 looks like it was pumped up for a mainstream audience, though, and that, that, that weirds me. Mad, not, Mad, not Mad Max. Max Payne. Oh! I mean, also Mad Max, it right? It fit, though, <laughs> yeah, talking totally about did. a wife and um, child getting... And the first two being great. Yeah. <laughs> but... <laughs> the third being mainstream. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Uh, anyways, Max I mean, that's just Payne. really the nature of trilogies, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, more often than not. I still wish... Oh, shit. I messed up. <laughs> I still wish he just, like, could drain him through his forehead. <laughs> like, any physical contact would be enough here. I totally, uh, I, I was looking at you and didn't. Yeah, he, he just jammed up. Oh, luckily, it's actually right here. You know, no consequence. Yeah, thank you, game. I, I prefer that, though, currently, because we're recording. <laughs> like, normally, I would want, you know, to be punished for that, but in this particular case. Yeah, yeah. How come I can't sneak? Gosh. This reminds me of the end of Dead Space 2, which had some of... The, that, the last hour of Dead Space 2 was just glorious. It starts off with the famous eye scene, yeah, where you gotta yeah. stab your eye. But the way you die if you, if you lose to the final boss is insane. Oh, that's awesome. Because um, the... Cause the, um, the, the just like super gory? No, actually, it's not. It's, it's even better. So the final boss is in Isaac's head. It's, he's having this crazy delusional battle God, in his it's mind. fucking kill. He's just brutalizing him, he's yeah. He's so good. Um, the villain of Dead Space 2 is, well, I guess I shouldn't go too deep into spoilers. Jeez, that's amazing. Yeah. Uh, but you end up shooting yourself it, with, a, with, a, with a javelin gun, under, like, under your chin, and it, like, your, your face, what? like, drops, like, what? like, like, sags immediately, because the muscles all... That's a terrible idea. Tensity. Tensity? That, that sounds like a word. <laughs> I like it, actually. I don't know if that's true. Um, are we just playing through on one episode with this? Are we? I don't know. I can't remember how long it is. We did it last time, I believe. No, I think we broke here, didn't we? Well, we, yeah, this would be a good one. Because we're, we're we could probably get one more episode out. This will be another one of those. If we need it, next time when it's a replay live. If we yeah. don't, it's still an episode. Uh, this is one episode. We're good. What? What? We're good. Bow <laughs> wow. <laughs> You really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf?